business closing down. Walmart needs local business closing down. Walmart needs local business closing down. Walmart needs heavy traffic overload. Walmart needs heavy traffic overload. Walmart needs always low morals. Walmart needs always low morals. Good morning, all proud citizens and friends. Special welcome to the United Food and Commercial Workers, Jobs with Justice, friends from Occupy who are all here in solidarity with Oak Grove community today. Welcome to all of you. Here we are in the parking lot of a closed business, the former GI Joes. This is where the largest retail company in the world wants to expand their business with yet another grocery store. So do you think Walmart is good for the citizens of Oak Grove? No! Well, you're not alone. I'm with a group called uh, Citizens that call itself Nogwal. No Oak Grove Walmart. It's a citizens committee. My name is Valerie Chapman. I've lived in Oak Grove for over 30 years. And this community has watched many businesses close over the past few years, and we don't like it. We're very worried about our neighbors and our family members who are out of work. But some businesses are worse than an empty building. We know people who are desperate to take care of their family will take any job. But Walmart is a race to the bottom for everyone. Local citizens have been working to revitalize the community in a three-year effort resulting in the McLaughlin Area Plan that was submitted earlier this year to the Clackamas County Board of Commissioners. This citizen-inspired plan includes an emphasis on walkable communities, local businesses, and an eye-pleasing boulevard with trees, open spaces, and that are no longer dominated by large parking lots. Yes. Walmart was not part of the community plan. Yeah. There was no vision for a Walmart next door to Concord Grade School. Yeah. There was no desire for increased car traffic at this intersection. Walmart was not part of our dream. In fact, Walmart represents a nightmare for our hopes. You all know how Walmart works. Cheap wages, low prices for imitation products, destruction of local businesses. You know why citizens of Selwood and Northeast Portland and communities all around the country are saying no to Walmart. Oak Grove deserves better too. Citizens of Oak Grove, Citizens of the 16 neighborhood communities in the metro area where Walmart is invading, let's say no to Walmart. No! no! Not here, not now. No Walmart! No Walmart! No Walmart! No Walmart! I work at Fred Meyer. I'm a union member of Local 555. And um, I'm here to support No Oak Grove Walmart and what they stand for. They stand for no Oak Grove Walmart stands for healthy, sustainable, livable communities. No Walmart stands for diversity in economy. Um, as a member, I have a right and the power under law to bargain collectively with my employer for conditions, wages, and, and affordable family health care. Um, and to be treated fairly in the workplace, we, are, we cannot just be fired for absolutely no reason because the boss doesn't like us. Walmart brings down wages, they do not supply healthy um, health care, and uh, does not support family jobs in the area. They take down the smaller business, they take down the locals. Walmart would be a bad investment in this neighborhood of Oak Grove. Stop the Walmart invasion! Stop the Walmart invasion! Stop the Walmart invasion! Stop please! No Walmart! Stop please! No Walmart! No Walmart! As Walmart celebrates its 50th anniversary, the company has lost has launched a positive spin campaign. In this campaign, Walmart tells us that their history In this campaign, Walmart tells us that their history reflects the promise of America. If you work hard, anything is possible. Yet the American Walmart company helped to create this economic crisis that we're now experiencing. Walmart tramples the human rights of workers. Is that good for America? No! Walmart discriminates against women. Is that good for America? No! 
Walmart damages small businesses and the environment. Is no. that good for America? No! No, it's not. In fact, its business model has contributed to the inequality and hard times that define life in America today. Yes. As a minister, I devote my life to serving the greater good. Is Walmart serving the greater good? No! No, it is only serving a few at the very top. Very high. All of us should have the opportunity to reach the American dream to find full-time work, to move up, and to save enough to buy a home. We should be able to pass on that dream to our children. Is Walmart cheap? No. Yes. yes. Walmart prices are cheap. Is it good for America? No. 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 no, to rebuild America, we must say no to Walmart. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So, my name's Steve Novick, and I'm going to be a city councilor from Portland, your neighboring city. And I'm here because I want to be a good neighbor, uh, and we know that Walmart is a bad neighbor. So I'm here, to, I'm here on behalf of good neighborliness. <laughs> so it's great to see a terrific crowd out here when everybody will be tempted to go out and enjoy the sunshine. But the sun will not shine on America! until we get rid of Walmart and yeah. the evil business model. Yeah. Yeah. Let the sun shine on an America that works for all of us. Yeah. Let the sun shine on good jobs and good wages. Yeah. Let the sun shine on good fashion, old fashioned American values. Yeah. Let the sun shine on us. Yeah. No to Walmart. No to Walmart! No to Walmart! No to Walmart! No to Walmart! No Walmart! No Walmart! There's a major question in this country that is, what kind of economy are we going to have over the next 30 years? We have the widest wealth disparities in this country since before World War II. We have an economic system that over the last 30 years it has figured out how to screw people more than it's figured out how to help and serve people. And if we don't figure out how we can have retail that serves people and doesn't just serve as a way to suck the wealth out of a community to send it out of state, we're not going to figure out how to build that kind of economy. Don't elect a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> this is very much about Walmart. And if we don't have people in our communities who are trying to figure out the kind of communities we want to have, we're not going to have the conversation we need to have. This is also a conversation much bigger than Walmart. It's also about what the future of this city, this county, this tri-county and quad county region, this state and this world is going to be. And we have to be vigilant and keep going. I had an interesting conversation, and this is the last point I'll make with somebody who's a land use lawyer normally for the other side of what you would be working on today. He says, you have to understand that what they count on is that you will show up for a rally and maybe a second, but not a third. That you will have energy briefly, but you will have energy briefly. And that ultimately if the public interest is going to have outcomes and succeed in accomplishing objectives, the public interest has to have vigilance. You have to keep coming. You have to keep working. Because otherwise, those who have the financial interest to keep working will be the only ones working. Thanks to everyone for coming. Thank you for all the folks from Oak Grove. Thank you to uh, members of uh, 555. Uh, thanks to Jobs with Justice folks here. This, is, this will not be a short battle, and we're in it for the length. Uh, over the last several years, Oak Grove residents have developed a McLaughlin area plan that talks about our wishes and desires for what happens with McLaughlin Boulevard here, which as you can see, is not going too well as it is. Walmart is not part of that vision. What we want are livable neighborhoods, what we want are vibrant businesses that make it better to live here. Walmart is not part of that vision. We're going to keep this up until Walmart understands they're not going to make money in Oak Grove. Yeah.
So what we're going to do now, folks, is we're going to take our signs, we're going to go down to the sidewalk, to the right of way here in front, and we're going to ask some people, especially one of the honk, to stop Walmart signs to get across on the other side of the street. We'll see if we can get some noise going on and do some education so that uh, folks who use McLaughlin Boulevard understand that Walmart is not in their interests, not in Oak Grove's interests, not in Oregon's interest. Let's stop them. No Walmart! No Walmart! No Walmart! No Walmart! Walmart sucks! 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 No Walmart! Stop green! No Walmart! Stop green! No Walmart! Stop green! No Walmart! One of the things that isn't um, known by a lot of people is that because Walmart doesn't provide health care or reasonable wages, that people end up going on food stamps who work for them or going to get special services through the, the state funds. And so it costs communities in the state a great deal when these people have to rely on, on our taxpayer-provided services because they don't get a living wage from Walmart and they don't get decent health care.